In this video, we want to take a look at the print driver options for the Macintosh operating system. We're going to take a look at some of the color management settings, the print quality settings and color adjustments, as well as borderless printing, sizing, and custom page sizes. So let's get started and take a look at how we can do this. The first step is to open up Photoshop and go to the File and Print menu option. That's going to open up the Photoshop Print Settings dialog box. Here you can make a selection for your printer type that you want to use, as well as the layout orientation. This next section I want to spend a little extra time on, and that is the color management options that are available when you're printing out of Photoshop. Now in Photoshop you have two options for color handling. Photoshop manages color and printer manages color. And they're both very different in terms of where you invoke color management. When Photoshop Manages Color is turned on, you have the option in, the, in this pull-down menu to select a number of ICC profiles that are installed in your system, and they get installed with the print driver. When you select Printer Manages Color, it really means Print Driver Manages Color. That You have to invoke color management and the color conversion at the print driver level. So it's one or the other. You can't color manage in both places or you're going to get bad results. So it's very important to make a distinction as to where you're making your color management conversion at the printer driver level or at the Photoshop print settings dialog box. So if we open up the print settings dialog box and we want to just first make sure that our paper size is uh, properly set the next little area is color matching and in this dialog box there is the option and I don't recommend it to use color sync to also select an ICC profile. Remember we said we could do it before. I prefer that you make the selection for the ICC profile in the Photoshop print settings dialog box that was prior. Here we want to select vendor matching color because now we're going to do and use the vendors ICC and driver based color matching. We're not going to use color sync, we're going to use the vendor matching, okay, because we're saying printer driver. The next option is to go into the main driver window. And in this dialog box, we can select our paper type that we have loaded in the printer. You can uh, hit the set button and that will tell you some of the basic presets for that media, some of the detailed settings. For the most part, you will want to leave these on the default settings. There's really not a lot of reasons to, to make changes in here. So we can close that dialog box. Canon gives you a number of print targets and these are presets that will work very well when you invoke the color conversion at the driver level, as we, as we said before. You have a number of what they call easy settings. Uh, you can also go into advanced and create your own basic settings. One of them is to go do a monochrome photo. So you could convert a color image into a black and white, but you also have a number of gray adjustments that you can fine tune that black and white grayscale image. You can change the coordinates to add a little bit of red or green or some of the color balance presets that are already there may work very well for you as well. So you can try this and, and test a few images and see what works best for you. There's lots of room to adjust here. All right, so now that we're done that, we'll go back to the main dialog box and we can go to the color mode. In this dialog box, we have the option to fine tune our output. This is a way of overriding the ICC profiles and making some subjective uh, decisions in terms of how you'd like to see the color matching done. As well, we talked about driver matching color. This is the third area where an ICC profile could be invoked. And again, I don't recommend your loading an ICC profile at this location. I recommend we always do it at the very beginning dialog box in Photoshop. As this dialog box tends to be a little bit nested within multiple dialog boxes and it gets a little bit tough to find and uh, you may miss a selection. I recommend that we just set this on driver matching mode. But I just wanted to show you where this is and, and what the options are in here. But again, we recommend that you if you're going to use ICC profiles that you select Photoshop manages colors at the initial dialog box. 
And when they ask you color space, sRGB or Adobe, they're asking you, what is the input color space of the document? What is the Photoshop document's color space? Is it sRGB or Adobe RGB? If you know that it's a, an Adobe RGB color space, then you would be better to set it to that as it'll match up more closely for the output. In the next dialog box, we're going to look at print priority. Now, print priority has a lot to do with the media type that you've selected. If, for example, you have a bond or a plain paper, you're going to see the option for line drawing and text. And if you have a satin or a photo paper, you're going to see more options for image and proof. This diagram gives you a bit of a better description of what each of those do and how you might want to use them in your printing workflow. So you can see with this media type, we have image and proof. Now for print quality, you also have a number of different options available, and that's also dependent upon the media type that you select. Again, if you have a bond type paper and a plain paper selected, you'll see different options than if you have a semi-gloss. As a rule, generally the standard print quality is going to give you a really good balance between speed and quality, but if you see banding in your print, then you might want to try a higher print quality. The input bit depth, that has to do with, uh, and it's very important that the image itself has the 16-bit depth information in it. If it doesn't, then it's not worth turning this on. Some images are saved out with a 16-bit file type um, with that extra information. In color mode, we have the option to do a monochrome, a no color, or color. The no color correction option is usually set aside for when you're printing an ICC uh, printing target when you want to create an ICC profile. Under the easy settings, we have a number of presets and you can view what those sets have in a little bit more detail by clicking on the view set. Each one of them will have a slightly different set of parameters. For example, photo RGB uses a slightly higher print quality and assumes the Adobe RGB as the input color space. Uh, the poster option utilizes a saturation rendering intent, so it will give a slightly higher amount of saturation and impact to the images. So as I mentioned before, standard is the best print quality to start with. So next, let's take a look at the page setup option. And in page setup, we can determine our paper sizes. The difference between roll paper and roll paper banner has to do with the fact if you're sending a multi-page document that has, say, one to five pages and you don't want any margins between that, if you print it with a banner setting, it will print them all together. The other options are fairly self-explanatory. Uh, in the roll width, we have the ability to, to tell the print driver what's loaded in the printer. So if we want to do borderless printing, we need to click on the enlarge option and that will give us the option for borderless. Now borderless allows us to print right to the edge and actually outside of the edge of the media so that there are no white spaces. So we get a completely borderless print. There are a couple of ways you can do borderless. You can fit to a paper size and that gives you the option for various presets that are loaded. And you can see those are available in the pull down menu. The other option is to fit to the roll and you have to then tell the, the software what the roll size is so that it can print to the borderless, can print borderless to that roll size. We can print centered in the media. If we don't do borderless, we can also have no spaces top and bottom to reduce some paper waste as well as the option to automatically rotate 90 degrees. The free layout tool, we're going to discuss that in a separate video. So make sure you take a look at that because it's a great tool for ganging images up on a sheet. The next option we're going to take a look at is the utility section and under the utility section you can do some basic maintenance on your printer. So once we're ready to send this to the printer we just want to do a quick review of our settings, make sure that we have the proper print target or advanced settings set, our print quality is set, and then go back under color matching and make sure that vendor matching is also selected. So we can save that now, come back, we're verifying the color handling is printer manages colors. And we can hit print.